Welcome to this playlist about geometry and angle properties. Yeah, and in various videos, we're going to talk about exterior angles, interior angles. We're going to look at parallel lines. Um, we're going to look at different types of polygons and their angle properties. And all of these resources, all of these videos, you're going to find on my site, expandingmaths.com. So make sure you check it out. Um, this video, we're going to start at the basics, yeah, but it's important to have a good understanding of the basics before moving on to more complicated things, because then they won't be that complicated. Yeah? This video, we're going to look at degrees in a full turn, yeah? degrees on a straight line, and vertically opposite angles. Okay? And it's important also that you are familiar with the language. Vertically opposite angles, degrees on a straight line, and degrees are in a full turn. Okay, so in a full turn, I'm just going to sketch a full turn for you, uh, which is a circle, hopefully you realize it. So roughly a circle, a full turn, like that. Uh, not a very good circle, yeah, but okay, that's the best I can do right now. And how many degrees in a full turn? I'm pretty sure most of you are gonna say now, well, that's 360 degrees. Yeah, that's good. But let's just take a moment now to discuss why did we ever decide upon 360 degrees in a full turn, yeah? Why didn't we say 100 degrees or 10? Yeah? Why 360? It's a little bit of a, a weird number to choose, right? Yeah? So I'm talking about thousands of years ago, why 360 degrees? Now, um, first of all, um, in those days, yeah, like for instance, the ancient Persians, they have a calendar, which they were thinking, because they were really good mathematicians, but they thought with their instruments that a year consists out of 360 days. Yeah? So it took the Earth, the planet Earth, 360 days to turn around the sun. And therefore they say, yeah, so in a full turn, we're gonna take uh, 360 degrees, yeah, which is one degree for each day. Yeah, that's, that's a very good explanation, but there's something else special about the number 360. Why? Because 360 degrees you can divide by 2, yeah, which is 180 degrees, yeah? but you can also divide it by 3 without getting any fractions or decimals. But you can also divide it by 4, yeah, which is 90 degrees. I can divide 360 by 5, which is 72 degrees. I can divide it by 6. You see, I can't divide it by 7, but I can divide it by 8, which is 45 degrees. I can divide it by 9, which is 40 degrees. 360 um, divided by 10, of course, is 36 degrees, yeah? I can't divide it by 11, but I can divide it by 12. I can divide it by 15. I can divide it by 18. I can divide it by 20. The number 360 actually has 24 divisors. There are 24 numbers yeah, by which you can divide 360 by without getting a fraction yeah, or without getting a remainder. So it's a really nice number to work with. Okay, so 360 degrees is an excellent choice for the amount of uh, degrees in a full term. Okay, now, um, so that is a bit of background information, which is useful, which is nice, which makes maths more interesting, if you know, if you're aware of that, yeah, 360 degrees. Now I'm trying to find a ruler, because if in a full turn you have 360 degrees, yeah, now let me just draw a line there through the middle, so then in a half a turn, so, like this, half a turn, it's going to be half of 360 degrees, okay? So in half a turn, or if you like, the amount of angles on a straight line are going to be half of 360 degrees, which is 180 degrees. So because we have 360 degrees in a full turn, automatically, we have 180 degrees on a straight line, which is half a turn, okay? So whenever you have a straight line, let me do that in a different color, uh, green for instance, yeah? Wherever I have a straight line and a particular angle there, and that angle is, I don't know, 60 degrees, then because on a straight line you have 180 degrees, that means automatically that this angle needs to be 180 minus 60, so 120 degrees, yeah? So you're gonna use that information for future questions. Vertically opposite angles, I'll try to be a little bit quickly because it's already taking too long, but it's, it's just so interesting, guys, so I wanna talk, I wanna give you the background information. <coughs> Vertically opposite angles, excuse me, um, you know what, I'm gonna do that in the next video, okay? So go to the next video for vertically opposite angles. Check my site, explainingmaths.com, for all the resources you need. And like and share this if it was useful, so I can help your friends too. I thank you very much. Bye-bye.